and welcome to Crumbs and Doilies HQ. Now, if you watched my Ask Me Anything Answers video a while back, you'll know that I'm a massive fan of bread. I can't get me enough bread. And, but obviously I like a lot of sweet stuff too. And so I'm gonna show you something which kind of straddles the two things, bread and sweetness. It is my recipe for super easy, fluffy, pull apart cinnamon buns. Now these are nothing like the kind of Scandinavian cinnamon rolls, although I really, really like those. These are the fluffy, squishy ones that are covered in glaze, and I absolutely love them. And I'm gonna start by making my dough, and I'm gonna mix my dry ingredients together. So I've got 345 grams of plain flour, and to start the sweetness off, I've got 60 grams of caster sugar. I've also got a teaspoon of salt, and I'm also going to be adding my yeast in at this point because I'm going to be using instant yeast. And that's the kind of yeast you'd buy if you were making bread in a bread machine. It's really easy to come by. I'm putting seven grams in my dough. Now, if you find that's difficult to find and you've got active dry yeast instead, uh, that just needs to be um, activated first. You'll also need to put nine grams in instead. Don't put it in with the flour. You'll need to activate it with the warm liquid that we're going to use in a minute. But for now, I'm going to mix my dry ingredients together just using a whisk. So I'm going to put that on my mixer so it's ready to roll, but now I need to warm up my liquid. So I've got some water and some milk and some butter here. I'm going to put them all together in the same bowl and then microwave it. And that'll just take about a minute and you want it to be hand hot, not boiling. So this is uh, probably about 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 50, 55 degrees centigrade. And I'm just going to put that into my mixer and get it going on a low speed. Now you'll notice that I'm using a dough hook rather than a regular paddle or a whisk. So once your dough starts coming together, you can then add an egg. I'm just going to add it straight in. And then turn the speed up to medium and let it go until all the dough starts coming away from the sides of the bowl. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now, it'll seem quite soft and wet at the moment, but that's okay because we're gonna knead it. And in doing so, we're gonna add a little bit more flour. Uh, so it's not gonna be quite as sticky, but this part is quite messy, as you can see. But to start with, I'm just going to liberally dust my worktop with flour. And then using a dough scraper, or you can use just a spatula if you want, but these are really handy. I'm gonna scrape all my dough out and just plop it onto the middle of the table. Now you need to dust your hands quite a bit with flour as well and we're going to knead this for about four or five minutes until it all comes together and is nice and smooth. Now kneading bread is a lot easier than you might think. You simply stretch it and pull it back over itself and then keep turning it and doing that all at the same time. And when it transforms into a little smooth chubby ball, it's ready. And you just need to put that into a lightly greased bowl for about 15 minutes covered with a tea towel, maybe your cupcake Gemma tea towel that you bought from my website perhaps, and just leave that for the gluten to relax. While my dough is hanging out and relaxing, I'm gonna make my filling, and this is very, very simple. You can jazz it up with different spices if you like, or all sorts of things, but I like to keep my cinnamon buns cinnamony. So I'm going to start with 70 grams of very soft spreadable butter and it needs to be nice and soft because you're going to spread it onto some quite delicate dough. I'm also adding one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon and 60 grams of light soft brown sugar or you can use dark soft brown sugar if you want. And then just using a wooden spoon just beat that all together. If your butter's not quite soft enough at this point you can actually just mix this with your hands and the heat from your hands will help soften the butter. Okay, that is my filling all ready to go. It's lovely and soft and spreadable. So I'm just gonna put that to one side, grab my little dough friend over here and whisk off my tea towel. Dust your worktop with flour before you start. Now obviously I have got a big kitchen here because we make lots of cakes here at Crumbs and Doilies and we have lots of room, but you might not have lots of room in your kitchen. So you need to make sure you've cleared the decks and you've got as big a space as possible because you don't want to be rolling into like your washing up or your phone because you're going to be rolling this dough out into quite a big rec rectangle. I'm going to turn my dough out into the middle to start and then using a rolling pin, I'm just going to dust that as well just so it doesn't stick. So just roll that into a rectangle. It needs to be roughly 17 inches long and about 10 or 12 inches wide. Right, that's looking really good, and now it's time to spread my delicious cinnamon filling all over it. And I'm going to use a palette knife for this. You want to be gentle because it's not completely indestructible, but you can be quite spready. And once you've got a nice 
thin, even layer of this filling all over the dough, right to the edges. You can then start rolling it. And you need to be quite careful. You don't want to have um, a big fat roll with nothing in it. I'm just going up from one end and I'm going to work my way over to the other end, gently, one little bit at a time. And once you've rolled him all up, you just need to trim the edges because these edges probably don't have as much filling in. Uh, so you want to get rid of those. And this amount of dough will make between 10 and 12 cinnamon buns. Um, so I'm going to start chopping. I'm going to make them about four or five centimetres long. I'm going to be baking these in a round cake tin. I'm, I'm using a 10 inch one. You can use anywhere between eight and 10 will be fine. Just make sure there's lots of room around each one because we're going to rise it and they're going to double in size. So you want to make sure there's plenty of room to do that. So just pop them in with their lovely swirly pattern facing up. Now these need to rise and they need to double in size. So you want to put them somewhere nice and warm. If you're in a hot country, that will just probably mean on the counter, which is very lucky for you. If you're somewhere cold like me, you can cheat it uh, by putting it in an oven that's just recently been turned off. Um, you want to have it off for about 15 minutes before you put them in. Um, or you could put it sort of near the oven or just in a, in a warm place like your airing cupboard. But first of all, cover it with tin foil, find a warm, cosy spot for it and leave it for about one to one and a half hours. So these have been getting all warm and toasty in a warm place for about an hour and a half. And as you can see, they have puffed up and doubled in size and they're looking so yummy and chubby. So all that remains is to bake them at 170 degrees C for about 25 minutes. And they want to be nice and golden on the top. If you're worried that they're getting a little bit dark at about 20 minutes, then just pop the foil back on and it'll stop them from browning further. While my cinnamon buns are cooking away, I'm going to get on with making the glaze because you want to have this ready when they come out because it's great to pour it on when they're still hot. So I've got 120 grams of icing sugar, which I've already sifted. I'm going to add two tablespoons of milk. I might need three, but I'm going to start with two. And also a small pinch of salt and half a teaspoon of good quality vanilla extract. And then just whisk that all together until it's smooth. And it wants to be a kind of thick but runny consistency. And now that it is, I'm just going to leave that to one side and go and check to see how my buns are getting on. My cinnamon buns have just come out of the oven and they're still hot, so now is the time to glaze them. And I'm just going to pour it on and spread it all around. I don't think there's anything better than the smell of freshly baked cinnamon rolls, apart from eating them, obviously. And these are super fluffy and super tasty. Come and have a look. Look at that chubby little monkey. I can't wait to eat that. And I hope you have lots of fun making them. For me, this is the perfect recipe for when you've got a bit of time on your hands, but you don't want to make anything too complicated. Oh, yum. If you do make them, let me know by hashtagging Cupcake Gemma or tagging me on Instagram and Twitter, Cupcake Gemma as well. And I'll be back soon with another recipe. So in the meantime, you can subscribe to my channel and click on the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. And go and check out my merch and you can get something snazzy from it. Bye. Mm. Oh my God. Hey guys, I'm just here to say thank you for supporting my channel by going to my Cupcake Gemma website and buying some awesome merch, which a lot of you have done. If you haven't already, there's some really cool things on there like my book and these cool temporary tattoos so you can kind of look a little bit like me, sort of, uh, without the pain and the money spent. So head over there, cupcakegemma.com, and grab yourself something nice.